Hi guys, welcome to Free Birds Crew, and here I represent my innovative project Next Gen Sentiment. If you don't yet watch my 75 hour journey playlist or rag and LLM business finance domain, please watch and learn journey for free. I will put the link in the description. So let's get started. So, so the problem is whenever I am doing sentiment analysis, it always gives me more proportion to the neutral sentiment rather than the positive or negative sentiment. So due to the less words or jargons present in the libraries like NLTK, text blob or large language models. So this problem occurs. So I solve this problem in this video. Okay. So these are the things that you're going to learn in this uh, video as well. The first is what is sentiment analysis and how to do it. And uh, we can also do the Python code implementation of the sentiment analysis with the NLTK text blob and along with the large language model. And I use the Finbird because I have a financial data set. And then we do the hybrid sentiment analysis as well. And then my innovative project that is called next gen sentiment. Okay. So let's solve this problem. Okay. So first we have what is sentiment. So it's a emotion that can be explained as positive, negative or neutral. So whenever you go to the text data in the form of audio, video or text, you analyze it and then predict the sentiment based on the words that it can be positive, negative or neutral as well. Okay. So for example, if you just see this uh, uh, three emotions that the first emotion says about the negative. So it says I got failed in test. That's a negative emotion. Then we have the test is done. That's a very neutral emotion. And then we have I got 99 out of 100. And that says very positive emotion. Okay. That's how you do the sentiment analysis. Now, how the sentiment anal uh, analysis works in uh, Python. So it works in three ways. So let me just explain one by one. The first is sentiment analysis with the help of NLTK or Spacey libraries. And then we have sentiment an analysis with the text blob li uh, library. And then we have the sentiment analysis with the large language model that I used Finbert here. Okay. So let me show you the coding example of each and their problem as well. Okay, so the first is the sentiment analysis with the NLTK in which I take the raw text, pre-process it or clean it from the URLs, the stop words and the special characters as well. And then I use the NLTK library to predict the sentiments. Okay, so here I show you the code as well. So here is the code guys that uh, I have first downloaded my data from the Kegel that it is a financial news headline data you can download from this link. Okay, the first I load the data and drop all the like NAND values from the headline column and then I clean the text and here I use to remove the stop words, remove the URLs, remove the special characters as well and take my whole text into the lowercase as well. Okay, then you can see that this is how the clean content column look like. It is free from all the uh, unnecessary things. Okay, then, then here is the code of the sentiment analysis using the NLTK. So first I download the Vedar lexicons. So these are the like words that can be used to uh, predict the sentiment as well. So in this uh, Vedar lexicon, the words are uh, stored in a way that it can have some kind of weights as well. So for example, if I can say the word uh, uh, words is uh, given a weight of minus 0. Uh, uh, kind of 6 as well. And the word best can be uh, given a weight of 0.5 as well. So these kind of weights are assigned in this uh, Vedar lexicon uh, NLDK library as well. So we use this as well and then I build a label sentiment function that can predict the label as a positive, negative or neutral. I apply this whole kind of uh, uh, sentiment is uh, intensity analyzer on all the my clean content uh, uh, rows and predict the sentiment. I just see that it gave me the positive count of 1000 and negative count of 769 and neutral count of approximately 1000. So it's the issue that why so many neutrals are there. If you just see this kind of one neutral example from here, you can see it's a big week for earning even bigger for vaccines. So that a very positive kind of uh, uh, headline as well, so, but it is marked as neutral. So that's the issue with this NLDK library now. Okay. So now the next is the sentiment analysis with the text block in which I 
follow the same process. I take the raw text, preprocess it from the all the keywords from the stop words along with special characters as well, and then use the text plot library to predict the sentiment. Okay, so here is my uh, coding example. If you just see my screen here, that I uh, load the text plot library here and apply the same kind of uh, function that I applied for the NLDK library on the text with the text blob sentiment dot polarity. On the base of that, I apply the label sentiment function and then get the sentiment. And if you see that neutral sentiment here are 1202 rows and then we have negative and then we have positive. And if we check for the neutral headlines that got uh, uh, in that, we can see that uh, it says that the healthcare will rally. It's a positive news and the many more kind of things are there. So that's a wrong kind of uh, assignment. Okay, so you see that how the NLTK and uh, text blob uh, libraries are uh, putting more more wrong content in the neutral section as well. Okay, and in the next uh, section, we see that uh, uh, we have uh, this sentiment analysis with the large language model that we use the Fifinbert. And in that, I use the same process. Take the text, clean the test, and then use the... Uh, Hugging face transformers library and then loaded the my large language model and then predict the sentiment here. If you just see my code here, you can see this. Uh, this is the code. I load the Finbert tokenizer here and then load the Finbert model and my pipeline as well and then apply this kind of a pipeline on my clean content column and then got the sentiment. If you see that it also very highly proportionize the neutral column only with 1600 rows as well and if you see that the neutral column will have the values like this that it can turn five dollars into five figures for the good support power of compounding it's a very positive statement but it's still a wrong assignment as well so as you just see that all the statements that all the codes that we do with the nltk text blob or llm all have the same problem that the neutral segment always got more proportion than the positive or negative as well. Okay, so that's the main issue that we are trying to solve. Okay, so as you see, the problem is always with the neutral sentiment, always got more proportion than the positive or negative. So I did another technique, combine all the methods or the sentiment and predict, and also use part of speech tagging to predict the sentiment only for the adjective verbs and the negative words only. Okay, so here is the code and I will show you that how I did that. So as you just see here, I just extract the adjective and verbs and then calculate the sentiment of those adjective and verbs and check the sentiment of the neutral rows. Okay, so here I just build some kind of a custom lexicons as well that, that you can also build if you want to by uh, adding the words along with their uh, sentiment power here as well. Okay, so I just extract the adjective and verbs by using the pause like part of speech tagging and then made a new two columns ad adjectives and verbs and based on that i also use the transformers here and use everything the transformers and the nlp nltk li library as well to predict the sentiment the first i check the words that is not in the not or the negations kind kind of thing as well or also check for the word score from my this uh, lexicons that these words are not present in the NLTK common words. So I just uh, add some kind of a unique words here. You can add more words as well. Okay. And then I uh, like uh, give, give it the positive score or the negative score as well. Then I check the sentiment of my adjectives and my verbs as well. And then I got a good score of the positive and negative as well. Okay. And uh, then if you just see here that uh, I get the final sentiment from the uh, large language model as well. And if my positive score from this above whole uh, function is greater than negative, then it is positive, else it is negative, and else it is only the Finbert sentiment only. So as you just see here, I apply all the three techniques into this uh, whole code to get my uh, final sentiment or the enhanced sentiment as well. So as you see this, sentiment is also got a high proportion of the neutral segments as well that's also not worked very well okay so that is the more common issue with all the kind of sentiment analysis frameworks that we use so because of all these problems i built my next gen sentiment analysis project for you so let me explain its flowchart for you first so 
the first I take the raw text, process it and then the magic comes. So as we know, the NLTK has limited set of words that it can use to predict the sentiment. Then the new words are making text go into the neutral segment. Okay, so I use the word to vec embeddings here. I find out the similar words of the raw text that are found in the NLTK common words so that using those words, it can predict the better sentiment. For example, if the raw text has the word outperform and the word to vec has two sim similar word of that is uh, like a surpass or the outshine and then the outshine word is present in the NLTK library. So I re replace the word outperform with the outshine word. Okay, then it can be easy to predict the sentiment of the whole sentence. Okay, so this whole code does not require any kind of high end computing or the GPU and it can run locally within the five seconds time. Okay, so let me just show you its code that how it can be done. Oh guys, so here is the code that first I just load my NLTK with our lexicon and load the sentiment intensity analyzer from the NLTK library and then I load my uh, word to vec glove model embeddings here and uh, then I just extract the Vidar lexicon words and filter those in the embeddings. Okay, and then here are my words. First for that, I just try to build a matrix that can be easily used for the similarity calculations and then I made this kind of a whole function that give me the closest Vidar score or the Vidar word by using the cosine similarity as well. Okay, and this uh, whole function I just applied only on the neutral segment that, that I just found out from here. Okay, it has the 1500 rows here and for that I just pass my cleaned content column and it's split into the words and for each word I predict the score and for the score I get the average and for that average I get the sentiment as well. If you just see here, now the neutral segment is only the 84 but the positive is very high and the negative is also very very good as well. And if you just check out the neutral segment here, as you just see, there is a no kind of a very very kind of a bad things are there okay you just see here so let it ask this is not these are the like not really very positive or the ne negative news are there but if we just talk about the positive news okay see it is the like stock syndicate millions jordan it is a very positive news check out the first big week earnings are there that is in the like first nltk that we just got above above here uh, this same is got as the neutral here in the NLTK segment and in the text blog segment the rarely goes into the neutral as well but you just see this here that it is the positive now okay so this is how that I just uh, build this kind of a next gen sentiment analysis framework and it can be improved further as well if, if we just try to uh, use more kind of a uh, uh, vector embeddings here and we try to uh, do it with the text blob as well do it with the large language models as well because th those have the more trained words as well are there okay so i just use that okay so we can also improve that further and make our sentiment analysis a completely uh, outclassed state of the art work as well oh okay, guys uh, I hope you guys completely understand that how I did this complete project and it's a really great project for me as well. Okay. So in our next videos, I will start the RAG playlist in which I explain all the techniques of RAG with large language models and we'll build multiple projects around that. I know it's a delay, but I will start that playlist very, very soon. So just get ready to grasp the knowledge about Gen A and LLM for free. And if you don't yet watch my previous playlist, please watch and learn Gen AI data science machine learning for free and you can read my blogs on the medium we'll meet in our next video thank guys thank you so much